Hello everyone, and here, the little Frenchie in Big Texas, welcome to my channel. And today we are going to unbox and review a water filter pitcher. And if you've seen my previous video, I'm pretty big in water filtering, given a lot of sources of waters everywhere in the US are pretty polluted. So I live in the big city. Uh, we have tap water that's supposed to be safe, but when you look at the lab reports, it contains quite a few contaminants that I'd rather not drink. So I already have here in this house, a reverse osmosis as well as two different systems to filter on the side. One of them is Alexa Pure, and the other one is the Pro One. So I'm gonna compare this product here with what I have in the house and see how it, it is. So this is the water pitcher that I was contacted to review. You can find it on Amazon. It is currently at $70 uh, on Amazon, but you do have a 40% off coupon that brings the price quite a bit down. So it's a built-in three-in-one filter supposed to improve the taste. Um, it reduces uh, calcium and magnesium. Hmm. I do like to have magnesium in my water, actually. It reduces the water hardness. Okay, well, that's calcium. Okay. It removes chlorine and unwanted odor. Yes corrosive substances, rust, sediments, and so on. So it doesn't give you a full detail of exactly what it reduces, but it's supposed to reduce quite a bit. So we're gonna open it up and try it out. Right, that's what it is for, the product mm -hmm. review. So, there you go. This is the water pitcher right there, and it comes with a filter. All right, so we have the water pitcher. So it is the Eyaxa. Eyaxa water pitcher. Uh, something I like here is at the top, you can pour the water directly, I think, through the pitcher, which is kind of like the one they sell for Alexa Pure and not what they have for the Pro one. And here, I don't like to have to open the whole thing every time, you know, to refill uh, the pitcher. It's much easier if you can just pour directly in um, without having to take the lid off. So yeah, that looks like... Oh, wow, that is cool, look at this. Pretty cool, no? I like that piece, that is cool. And here you have an indicator to start, um, which is probably going to tell you how your filter is doing and when it needs to be changed. So, so far, so good. Let me open this up. This looks very similar to my other uh, filters, pictures. So that's plastic. All this is plastic. So the first thing I'm going to do here is wash everything in the sink to make sure everything is clean before pouring in the water. So you do have also instructions here on the filter, which tells you that, yes, well, it's, you don't have much explanation. Rinse filter with cold water for 15 seconds before using, okay, we rinse it. And carbon dust is normal in the first one to three feeding. Okay, we need to keep the water below 35 Celsius. Okay, so no hot water. And yes, we press the start button here as soon as we change the filter. Fair enough. So we need to have it under running water for 15 seconds, so rather quick. And then run the water through the pitcher probably three times just to have it safe. But this is, I believe, yes, how it's supposed to fit. So let me go wash it. And we'll be right back to see how the water flows because we don't want to have to wait a day to fill up a pitcher. We want a certain flow of water to fill it up. And then we're gonna taste it. So I just filled up the pitcher, washed it first and filled it up. And this is the flow of water for the first fill. It is actually running very fast, almost too fast. To be honest with you, I just wonder how much it's filtering right now. Um, comparing with my other filters, it usually takes much longer to filter. 
especially on the first run. So we will try the water. I'm gonna let it, given it goes so quick, we're gonna do three, make sure it is all clean, and then we're gonna try the water. But I really wonder how it's gonna taste. So the thing as well here, it's just gonna be based on the taste here because I do not have a lab report. This is something that was not available on the Amazon site. I did ask them when they offered me to review the picture. I told them I would like a lab report without an independent lab report. I'm not very confident reviewing a filter and they didn't have any. So the answer I got is uh, if it's good enough to be sold on Amazon, it should be good enough for you. Unfortunately, it is not for me. I want to have an independent lab report and a very detailed one. Because even the, um, the TDS uh, meter you can buy on Amazon, you can have some uh, pretty cheap for $10, you can buy one, it's gonna tell you how hard your water is. It's gonna just measure the level of particles in the water. It's not gonna measure all the contaminants. It won't tell you if you have bacteria, it won't tell you if you have radioactive materials, uh, it's gonna be just partial. So yes, you're gonna know if it's a hard water or not, and I already have the answer. My water here is hard. I know it. Uh, so I'm glad it's going to filter that part, but that's not all I have. I mean, we have radium here, for instance, I believe, or chromium in the water. Um, you have in a lot of locations nowadays in the US, the PFAS, uh, which you definitely want to remove. So you've got a lot going on in that water besides the calcium, the chlorine and the lead, which will be probably removed here, just like a Brita filter. It's gonna remove the basics, but I would like a filter to remove more than just the basics for me. So this is um, a bit disappointing for me. Um, I would recommend to the brand to have a lab report available on Amazon as a link, a recognized lab, not a Chinese one, international. Most companies you go through a lab in New Jersey here, but you have others independent uh, in a first world country um, to uh, document uh, really the, how well the, the filter works. Right now, the water is extremely clear. They say it might not be for the first run. It is extremely clear. So that took four minutes. That's very quick. So. I'm going to throw it away and run it two more times and then we're going to do the taste. Water flow comparison here. This is the one, this is Pro 1. See how slowly it drips and this is not the first time. Huh? And look at this one. Very quick, very slow, it's drop by drop. So we're gonna compare how these two taste and we're gonna compare with my reverse osmosis water as well, which in my opinion is the best in the house. All right, we are ready with my little girl here for the taste. Huh? And I want it to be two just to have different opinions. Mm -hmm. so this is our testing, uh, tested Iyaksa water pitcher. I have a blue glass for this one. I did let it run three times, so let's try it out. You tell me, you tell me. I, I can, uh, it doesn't taste like the reverse osmosis, huh? Mm. Uh -uh. Yeah. At least like 5.5 out of 10. 5.5 out of 10. No, it's better than the water from the sink yeah. for sure but it's not as pure as so this is reverse osmosis yeah that one tastes like <laughs> nothing exactly here you still have a bit of a taste yeah you do you do okay. right you see the difference huh? keep oh you keep that one <laughs> so Can last I one i want to compare with is the pro one which as you can see is dripping slowly yeah. It is filtering, so that one was in the fridge, so it's a bit of a colder water here. To me, this one is closer to the reverse osmosis. Try. It 
it's almost like reverse osmosis. It doesn't taste like nothing, you know, it's just uh, not plain. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. You this would, one just colder though. It's colder, that's the thing. The it's temperature makes a bit of a difference here, different. but it doesn't have, this one has a, still has a kind of taste. A, yeah, kind of a water one, taste, kind of be, like the sink. This yeah. one would be A, that one would be 5.5, and this one's 10. Okay, so reverse osmosis, you heard, would be a 10. This one, 8. I'm not sure I would give it a 5 here. I'm not sure. I would give it below 5. Uh, and as I it's said, so my drinkable. big... Yeah, it is drinkable, drinkable. but you, anyway, given you don't have the lab results, you don't know what you drink, uh, which is the big issue for me here. And um, So this is a few days later, as I wanted to get a TDS uh, measurement here for that water. So I'm going to lower you and measure the total dissolved particles in this new water pitcher and compare it with my tap water and the reverse osmosis. So let me lower you and if you want to know more about TDS filters, there will be a TDS measurement. I will make a full video and we'll place the link at the end of this one. So this is my filter available on Amazon. This one is a bit, uh, fancy because it also measures temperatures and so on so this was about $15 but you can get one for less than 10. So right now it says zero so let me measure my tap water first. It's going up to 28 it's red to 29 which is no surprise to 32 it's still measuring up okay well let's uh let it go up here to 32 well I guess that's about it. All right, 232 ppm. So it's not bad, see it's red. Most tap water are gonna be less than 500, uh, but in that, uh, in that range here. So they will have minerals in, some are good, some are bad. It depends on your tap water. So now let me clear it, go back to the green. And now we're measuring my reverse osmosis. So let's see. This go to 35? Wow, that's higher, it's red. That's higher than I thought actually for the reverse osmosis. Hmm, maybe we've had it for a while. Maybe I do need to change the filter on that one. It's been in the house for a long time. All right, well, I'm disappointed here. 236, that's actually not the best, wow. Okay, well, let me clear it again, back to green. And now let's measure this one. Well, given they're all about the 230 here, range is probably going to be the same, no? It's turning red right away. Well, it's actually lower, 208. So the measurement here is actually better with that water pitcher than my reverse osmosis. I can believe it. Woo! <laughs> Let me try another filter here. I'm having that. Let me grab another glass and another pitcher. Let me try the pro one just to make it uh, clear. I'm putting it back on clear, green, and I will try the pro one. All right, I'm back with my glass and here is my pro one pitcher. So let's try the pro one water. So this is green. Oh, it's going red right away as well. 147, 148. That one actually works. It decreases uh, the PPM significantly. It's still red, but it reads 148. So which is uh, lower than, let me do this one again here. Yeah, that one is going above 200, 206. Yeah, for this one, we don't see much change with the water from the tap, I mean. So tap water was a bit less than 230, 225, 226, I think. So this one here, the new picture 206, so it did reduce it a bit, not much. Uh, and the Pro One did reduce it significantly more. But as I said, I'm not too much of a PPM uh, person and this TDS because it doesn't measure everything you can have in the water and it does measure the good as well as the bad. So do you want the magnesium to be removed? I don't. I like to have magnesium in my water, for instance. So just wanted to share with you here 
the final review <laughs> with some scientific reading just to have some on that water picture. So if you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and watch out for my next review on the TDS matter. Thank you all for watching.